Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question we are taking up from the topic of integration. And we are containing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question I'm taking it up from the topic of 2015 Advanced. And the question says that f dash of x is equal to 192x cube upon 2 plus sine raised to 4 pi x for all x belongs to r. So we have been given the derivative of f of x and f of half is given to us as equal to 0. We have been asked to find the possible values of small m and capital M with the condition that says small m is less than or equal to integral of limits going from half to 1 f of x dx that is also less than or equal to capital M and the four options that are given to us here says small m is equal to 13 capital M is equal to 24 b it tells us small m is 1 by 4 capital M is half c small m is given minus 11 capital M is 0 the last option tells us small m is 1, capital M is 1. So these are the four options given to us. We need to figure out which one of them will be the correct for us. Let's understand how do we solve this type of questions on integration. So first thing we have been given is that the limits of f of x go from half to 1. So I understand one thing here that x basically lies between half and 1. So if I understand this that x lies between half and 1, I can apply my idea of f dash x here. So f dash of x is 192x cubed 2 plus sine raised to 4 pi x. Now I can put x as half here as well as 1 here. So I'll get the limits of the values of f dash x here. So if I put, let's say x is equal to half, I get f dash of half that is nothing but 192 into half cube upon 2 plus sine raised to 4 pi by 2. sine pi by 2 we already know it is 1 so it gives me 192 into 1 by 8 upon 2 plus 1 because 1 raised to 4 is also 1, right? So that gives you 192 by 8 into 3. So you get it as 192 by 24. So if you divide this, you can cancel out. So I can cancel out 3 8s are 3 6s are 18 and 12. So 3 4s are 12. 64 by 8, that gives you answer as 8. So you get when x is equal to half, you get the first limit. Now let's put x is equal to 1 also here. Get f dash of 1 as 192 into 1 cube. 2 plus sine raised to 4 pi. Now I'm putting x as 1. Sine pi becomes 0. That gives you 192 upon 2. That is 96. So you get the limits of f dash x that it is greater than or equal to 8 and lesser than or equal to 86. Now if I apply the limits here taking the integrals, so if I take the integral of 8 dx f dash x dx and integral of 96 dx. First of all when I am taking integral we have to decide for the limits here. So if I take the integral of f dash x, it is going to become f of x, right? And after that, we need to arrive at this condition where it is integral of f of x. And I also know f of half is given to me as 0. So I can take the first limit as half here. So I'm taking the first limit as half for all the three conditions. 
and the upper limit I can take just as x because I need the integral of fx, right? I need to develop this idea that it should come out integral of f of x. So now if I apply the limits here, 8 dx, 8 being a constant value integral of dx, that is integral of 1, will give you x. The limits go from x, sorry, half to x, less than or equal to integral of f dash x dx becomes f of x. Again, the limits go from half to x. And here also it becomes 96x. Again, the limits go from half to x. Now, what do you get here is 8x, because I'm keeping the upper limit same, so it remains x, minus 8 into half, less than equal. This gives you f of x minus f of half less than or equal to 96x minus 96 into so it is 96 by 2 so you get it here as 8x minus 4 less than or equal to f of x minus f of half and f of half is nothing but equal to 0 so this comes out 0 so once you get this as 0 it becomes f of x minus 0 that is f of x less than or equal to 96x minus 40. So you get this entire limit that f of x. So now you have the new idea with you that f of x is between 8x minus 4 and it is also between 96x minus 40. So basically f of x is less than this and greater than or equal to this. Now what I can do here is to get the idea which was asked to us this. So if I adjust here, again, we should take an integral first. So if I take an integral, integral dx, integral dx, and integral dx. And the limits that are given to us in the question, just let's put that limit. So the limits are given from half to one. So if I put that limit from half to one everywhere, now you can just solve this idea. Integral of 8x minus 4 gives you 8x square by 2 minus 4x. Limits go from half to 1. Less than or equal to. This is, we'll be keeping it as it is. Because we don't need to solve this because this is given already in the equation. And if I try to solve this, I get 96 again x square by 2 minus 48x. You again get the limits half to just let's apply the limits now. So you get it. 8 by 2 basically becomes 4. Here also it becomes 48. So you get 4. Common if I take it. You get x square minus x. Limits go from half to 1. Here you get integral half to 1 f of x dx less than equal to Again, I can take 48 common. You are left with x square minus x. Limits go from half to 1. If I solve this, you get it. So 1 square minus 1 minus the lower limit if I apply half square minus less than equal to integral half to 1 f of x dx less than equal to 48 again. Same idea. 1 square minus 1 minus half square minus half. So what do you get here? 4. 1 minus 1 because 1 square minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 that is 0. Here also 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So now what do you get here? 4. Minus 1 by 4 and plus half. So you get half minus 1 by 4 less than or equal to integral of sorry it was not zero it was half to one so i'll keep it as it is f of x dx less than or equal to now instead of four we had your 48 and you had half minus one now half minus one fourth is nothing but one fourth right so four into one by four Less than equal to integral goes from half to 1 f of x dx. Again, less than equal to 48. Again, half minus 1 fourth is 1. So you get 12 here, you get 1 here, 
so you get the idea here that one is less than or equal to integral from half to one f of x dx less than or equal to one. Now, if you compare the same idea with the question given to us, small m less than equal to limits from half to one f of x dx less than or equal to capital M. So if you compare this idea with the given data, you get small m is equal to one and capital M is equal to one. So if you see the option that matches here with the questions is D. So D is the correct answer for the question that is given to us that M is less than equal to integral of half to one f of x dx less than equal to capital. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we took the limits of x, we substituted and got the limits of f dash x that the lowest value and the greatest value with x equal to half and one is this. We took the integral with the limits from half to x, we got f of x in that terms. Once we got the limits of f of x, we again took the integrals with dx from half to one because this was given to us in the equation. So once you solve that, you get the values of small m as cap one and capital M as 12. So your answer becomes D. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question from some other topic. We are going to continue this questions of JWE advanced. So I'll see you again tomorrow. If you are liking this series and if you are enjoying this, please do like and share this with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWD Advanced. Also, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.